Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. It's a new one, so buckle up. <laughs> Today we will be ranking all of the palettes I've tried once. <laughs> ranking the newest palettes that I've tried, but I've only had gotten around to got, trying them once. Um, palettes that I've only tried in a first impression. I genuinely don't know what I'm going to name this video, but it's essentially products and eyeshadow palettes that I've only used once, so I'm ranking them on their first impression, like which ones do I want to keep trying and that kind of thing. So I think it's a fun one. First, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and without further ado, let's just get started. I feel like, um, this lip combo is going to be my second favorite lip combo, and I just decided that I think that I need to go through, like, my entire collection and just combine my um, lip liners with my lipsticks and see which ones I like because I find some banger combos that I just never, like I never wear because I feel like it's too difficult to think of, you know, what to wear. <laughs> We're also going bare face and beautiful, I forgot to mention that. But this is the Jaclyn lip liner in the shade Praline. I be well, I was gonna say, when I'm filming this, Jaclyn is 30% off Morphe. I don't know if Mor she's taking herself out of Morphe. But I went to get one of the lip oils and only the crazy shades were there. And I know they're like pretty sheer, but I was like, I just want clear. That's it. <laughs> anyway, I also got the Italia, I'm also wearing the Italia Deluxe Matte Mousse in the shade 10 Temptress. Like this combo is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. And to me, it's not too bold. So I like it. Anyway, I just, I told myself, I was like, Marissa, you better rank them before you start filming. And I didn't. So hold on. Okay, wait, sorry. One more tangent. Target. The cutest mugs. I just put water in here because I'm going to go get coffee, but I wanted to show you how cute the gingerbread man was. My sister got the snowman, which is so cute too, but all the aesthetic vibes for Christmas this year. I'm doing it. All right. So again, these palettes I've used once. I got all of these palettes plus like another five or six that are still in my new makeup drawer that I have yet to use. I have so many new palettes that I wanted to try that I've been buying. And I was doing so good this year on eyeshadow palettes. Like I was keeping under 50 and just kind of rotating out and in and out and in. I was doing really good. I know 50 is a lot, so don't come for me. But I just mean like ideally, like not ideally, but like most YouTubers at this stage of where I am, like in my YouTube have hundreds and hundreds of palettes because they just buy everyone. So anyway... Um, I've tried them all, so I've been trying to just try them all, like, one by one and just at least get a use out of them before, like, <laughs> they all just sit and stare at me in the drawer. So I've been doing that. Um, so that's why these palettes literally have only been used once in a first impression, like, while I was just once I was getting ready. So um, let's go over. There's only nine here. I was going to pull a tenth, but I was just, like, um, it was. it's not that it's so old, but it's honestly, like, months old. And I don't use it. I've only used it once because it's really just, like... It's, I'll just tell you, it's the ColourPop um, High School Musical palette. Like, I've literally only used that once, but that one's kind of, kind of old, so I didn't want to show that one. So these are, like, newer, at least newer to me, at least in the past month. So, anyway, let's jump in. So, lucky number nine. This one I actually used yesterday just to play around, and I do like it. So, it's the LA Girl Keep It Playful Eye Palette. Um, oh, sorry. I rank them in order of what I want to use again, basically, and, like, what I'm excited to play with and what I really loved when I used it first impression, basically. So, number nine, I did like this palette. I just feel like, obviously, it's not that exciting. Like, it's not anything like, oh my gosh, yes, I can't wait to dip back into that. Because I feel like I have these colors over and over again. And I like the LA Girl formula. Like, for being so as cheap as it is, it's a nice formula. But for me, it's nothing, like, revolutionary or, like, oh my gosh, like, you need this. The shade in the middle is definitely the best shimmer. But you can see, like, all the other shimmers are a lot less chunky, if you will. And so that one obviously has more to it. Um, the shades do blend beautifully. They're really, really nice. It's just one of those basic nude palettes. So I knew what I was buying when I bought it. So I'm not saying, like, I shouldn't have bought it or anything like that. I'm just saying I'm not that excited to use it again because I know what it's going to give me. You know what I'm saying? Although, mm, mm, maybe some of these tones... I don't know, it could be fun. Like, I like the depth to it. It has your perfect fall tone. So if you're looking for it, it's a great formula and it's super inexpensive. Um, it has some depth to it as well. So that's really nice. So it's really, again, it's personal preference here. But I'm just, like, not super excited to use it again. Um, the other one is the Alter Ego Shadow Kiss. Um, this one I bought all the Alter Ego palettes just so I had the full collection. I know. I know. <laughs> but here is this one here. It's mostly shimmers. So um, the reason why I'm not super excited again is because I know that if I'm going to dip into this, I have to almost reuse another palette with it. Um, I did a look, I believe, with some of the, the, the few mattes that are in here. Because you can. You could do like, you know, crease or 
either crease or crease in the outer corner. Um, sorry, like deepen up the crease in the outer corner and then outer corner. Um, like you could do that like a thing and then add any of the shimmers or even like three of the shimmers. I used a couple of the shimmers, which they're nice, but it's just I feel like it's a more of a companion palette because of the amount of shimmers in it. And I know it's based off a of Natasha Denona palette. So I would say the same thing probably about Natasha Denona's palette. Like I just don't, I'm not a super huge fan of all the shimmers, but I like these tones because I don't have these tones in a lot of other palettes. So when I find the right mattes, which I'll show you another palette that I think will be a good combo palette. Um, I feel like I could use these shimmers with it, but that's why I'm just like not super like inspired or anything like that. It's just like a basic, you know, shimmer palette, but, um, I do love that formula. So good. Um, and then this is the Too Faced Secret Santa palette. I only used it in that one time in that secret, in that, um, uh, in my, what is it called? First impression. Sheesh. Um, but <laughs> this palette is so cute and I really do want to use it again. I just feel like, again, it's that basic, it's nothing exceptional, like not nothing exceptional. It's nothing, um, unique or anything like that. It's just your basic shades. So I feel like it's a great palette to have again on hand because, you know, you just have like your set, setting crease, outer corner or crease, whatever. Like you could kind of do the basics with this and it's nice. You don't have to think. And then you have some fun shimmers. You got a nice red. Um, so like it is nice. I'll show you like a little bit of a close up. I like these two shimmers a lot, honestly. Like they picked really great shimmers here. And this formula is great. It's got, it's the, the palette and the formula. It really went back to the um, heart of these, these tin, mini tin palettes because for the past year, I believe last year's were not this good. Basically, we're not good. Um, and I try, and I try, I like literally like sold it after one or two uses because I really just wasn't going to use it. Um, and so, but then you guys know if you guys remember, <laughs> if you're OGs, the tickled peach and the hot butter rum, like I panned the, I hit pan in mo some of those shades. Like, so that's saying a lot. This is going back to that where I feel like I could just use a lot of this palette and use it, use it up. You know what I'm saying? So I really do like it. It smells yummy. It just smells like Christmas, like spice, you know? But, um, <laughs> um, again, like not super, super like, yes, I need to use it. It's not immediate, you know? Yes. So lucky number six here. So this is the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. It's the mini retro here. Um, it's uh, not mini. It's like the bite size. I don't even know what they call them. The baby ones. <laughs> so it comes with three shades. I got it in like a little kit here. Um, it comes with three shades. I believe they're three shades from the Retro Palette. Um, if I'm wrong, I, I, you know, I don't know. Um, I did notice this year they came out with a, a three hand like ornament kind of thing from Natasha Denona. It was twenty dollars for three shades, so so um, I'm assuming that this would retail for twenty dollars if they were selling it or if they plan on like doing it maybe next year, seeing how it went, you know, in the box and then maybe doing it next year. I don't know, or if they've done it before and I'm just living under a rock. I'm not sure, but this palette is nice. Um, it's just you got three shades, so <laughs> it is a nice look. So that's why I feel like I'm more um, inclined to use it over the last three just because I feel like the look is so pretty like this is definitely a nice like one you could just wear for like a holiday you just quick crease outer corner lid and you're good and it's so gorgeous so I really do like it and I do I don't hate Natasha Nona's formula I don't think it's all that in a bag of chips but I like it um so I'm excited to use it again I really like that shimmer in the middle too it's so so pretty I'm also excited to use the dupe that I have that's upstairs sitting in the drawer that I have set to be used all right, so next is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think it's called the Nouveau Palette. That's what I've just been calling it. Now, I like this palette. Um, I do. I think it's really pretty. My first impression was it was really, really nice, and I do want to use it again. I can't wait to play with some of these tones. I just feel like it's not... The other ones basically are just better. So I guess this is top five technically, um, but there's only nine, so, you know, it's not that exciting. Um, but... And the other ones are just, I want to use more. So this one is nice and I can't wait to get to my hands in it again. Like the shimmers are beautiful and the um, greens are stunning. Like the, uh, the peaches are nice. Like this is one I don't regret. I mean, none of these I regret, but I feel like this one I just um, can wait to use it, especially because of the peaches for more springtime. Um, so I feel like the, the shimmers are really nice. Like I could wear those shimmers in fall and even the green and the brown but like the peaches and the purple I feel like that's more spring it's giving spring and so I feel like um like I can wait to use this a little bit deeper in more depth in a different season so I do really like this though I don't regret it and 
I'm glad that I impulse purchased it, but <laughs> I don't use it a lot, a lot. And then lucky number four, like this one was so close, but I cannot wait to play with this. I can't wait to deeper play with the Essence um, Villains eyeshadow palette. Okay, I used it once, like I said, a million times, but look at this palette. Like, isn't it so delicious? It's definitely like your basic, like, so I was comparing these two because I was going to see if I wanted to use both of them um, when I did my look yesterday, but like, they're basically similar like they definitely this you could definitely dupe this one out in this one like it has all the same shades like a deeper brown an orange like that kind of stuff and so you could definitely dupe it out but this is what is exciting to use and exciting and inspiring is when they have those pops of green when they have this additional like kind of purpley blue shifts those are my favorite kind of like amp up shimmers i love this color especially for fall time i don't know what it is but it's so stunning to me and it just has so much fun to it i think the aesthetic to it is what makes it more exciting like the scar and like the colors that you're using are timon and pumba and mufasa and you know like it's so exciting i cannot wait to dip back in this into this and honestly it was close with the top three but the other three make me really happy <laughs> but i love this palette and scar was never like i i'm not a huge disney villains girl i'm also not a disney princess girl really i just like, if I had to pick one, I, I can. Um, same with the villains. But so the Scar palette was just so exciting. And then this, the whole aesthetic was so exciting when I got it. So I was like, okay, well, now I'll, I'll love Scar, you know? <laughs> so that one was so good. But now we're in top three here. So um, lucky number three. This is the Alter Ego Sahara palette. Now, this is more like it, honey. This is all basically all mattes. Like, if you see, it's 90% mattes. And then you have some shimmers there, like, perfection honestly stunning um whoever thought of this was like well i guess natasha Nona did but <laughs> whoever natasha and in their team thought of this is a genius um because i love 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 like a mostly matte palette so now like what i i feel like there's a good will be a good combo is like the bottom row here with this palette is going to be stunning like that would be oh my gosh like delightful it's honestly really similar but like it's some of those are shimmers and like me and know with the mattes so I feel like it'll be a good combo palette but um honestly like that's the only way I could use that one really um this one I feel like I could just do like a hundred probably looks with this freaking palette and a hundred different combination of palettes and still not get bored because it is so gorgeous like ugh, look how stunning so I cannot wait to play with this again I don't know how I've held off but I cannot wait. Cannot wait. I love that palette. So lucky number three there. Um, that one I'm say so this one is surprising to me. This is not a new palette. All of these are well, none of these are some of these are <laughs> some of these releases are newer. These are like palettes that I've had though for um I just got them more recently, so this one's included. I just don't know how old this palette is, what the tea is on this. It's the ColourPop Plush Like Me palette. I used it in my unboxing. I think I was wearing the sweater, actually. Uh, but I wear it in my ColourPop like, Mystery Box unboxings. Y'all. Oh, I didn't even have to use that palette. <laughs> Guys, look at how scrumptious. Like, honestly, this would match with this lip combo. Oh my gosh, I have to wear this. Because these colors are so, so stunning. I love the depth in these, like delicious mm, they're more than neutral neutrals and I'm just obsessed they have like these deeper tones at the bottom and like the shimmers are so pretty I don't wear shimmers like this really but um the rest of the shimmers are stunning like everything about this palette is perfection and I don't know why no one's talking about it it has a nice size mirror you guys can see it's huge so this palette is just stunning and I the packaging is beautiful I don't know where it's been all my life but it is so stunning the formula was smooth it was creamy it was amazing um and Again, based on first impression, but um, I cannot wait to keep playing with this. I cannot wait. Like, I want to right now. <laughs> I want to go upstairs and play, but I got things to do. Um, so, yes, there's that one. All right, and if you guys could guess number one, it was kind of obvious. And this one is definitely just based on, first of all, newness to my collection, because this is the newest palette to my collection, um, but also based on, like, hype and this the brand and the everything um, of course, it was the Lunar Beauty 12 Days of <laughs> Lunar palette. Is number one, I cannot wait to dip back into this. I've only used it that one time again. All of these I've only used that one time, so I don't know why I'm specifically saying that with <laughs> certain palettes, but um, I just wanted to reiterate, this is so delicious. I do think, I haven't decided if I want to switch the shades around. I feel like I could still get my way around, like if I just want to do a neutral look, like the fun pops, but I feel like it's not like cohesive enough like I feel like I gotta move the I, I don't know I don't know I gotta move it around I feel like uh but I don't know because I don't want to forget like what color but I feel like you guys could see jada 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 
Anyway, um, I'm so excited to dip back into this palette. I used um, a lot, quite a few of these shades. Actually, no, I lied. I swatched them all. Hmm. I used, what shades did I use? I used two. I think I used the green and maybe that shade or this shade, one of them. Um, and I like as a topper and it was just such a stunning look and I cannot wait to dip into this purple either. And like these shimmers, I love Luna Beauty shimmers. I don't like this black, honestly. I just wish this was a different shade, genuinely. Honestly, I don't think any of those palettes that I just showed you had a black. Actually, maybe the Alter Egos, both of those did, but I, I, that's what I think throws me off. I also keep thinking that the pot, felt the, the pan is missing because the palette's black and so I'm like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, oh wait, that's the shadow. <laughs> so I don't know, but I cannot wait to dip back into this. Again, the formula is superb. Um, that was lucky number one. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, that was it. It's just a quick and easy, like simple video. I just wanted to talk about these newer eyeshadow palettes. Get your feedback on what you guys want to see in videos. Um, I know you guys love drugstore videos, so maybe the LA Girl one. Um, but I know you guys love Luder Beauty, you know, so there's so many options of what, like, you know, you guys want to see again. Again, I have a whole stack of palettes that I haven't tried at all still. I know, it's crazy. But um, again, let me know what you guys want to see. I This is what I want to play with, so <laughs> let me know what you guys are feeling. Um, and yes, that is it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.